10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité, feu. Allumage. Bricolage. Thirty-seven seconds into the launch, the onboard computers decided 501 was 90 degrees off course. A very well-known picture for those collector of rocket pictures. This was really spectacular almost from the get-go. We see the vehicle lifting off and um, essentially coming over immediately and being destroyed by um, range safety. According to plan, for some distance. During this time, the missile was stable in pitch, yaw, and roll. Then a failure occurred involving one engine. And shortly thereafter, another engine also lost power. It was therefore necessary for the range safety officer to destroy the missile by remote control. from the missile fell on the test base and in the sea just offshore from the base. Five, four, three, two, one. Ignition sequence start and liftoff of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, adding to the International Space Station access for future American rockets. And Falcon has cleared the tower. Vehicles programming downrange. Stage one propellant utilization is active. Power to operation now at all. meters per second downrange distance 1.1 kilometers vehicle supersonic recovery drone ship has AOS 
Vehicles reach maximum aerodynamic pressure. Stage one propulsion is still nominal. Power and motion remain nominal. Impact chill has begun. T plus two minutes. Altitude 32 kilometers. Speed one kilometer per second. Downrange distance 13 kilometers. Daddy coming back shows vehicle on course on track. After nearly a year's delay posed by its liquid hydrogen fuel, the mighty Centaur is on its pad at Cape Canaveral for a maiden flight. It is to be boosted into space by an Atlas for a 15-minute flight, a flight scheduled to study the performance of the temperamental hydrogen fuel. The Centaur is designed to put a payload of more than a ton on the moon or a thousand pounds in the vicinity of Mars or Venus. The first few seconds of the shoot go without incident. The Centaur climbs to 30,000 feet, then malfunction. The immediate cause of the explosion is not known, but if it happened in the Atlas booster, it means a probable delay for the next U.S. orbital flight by astronaut Malcolm Carpenter. Long lens cameras capture pieces of the wrecked missile falling into the sea, falling like a wounded bird. However, in the race for space, scientists find progress in every failure.
10, 9, 8, 7. We have a go for main engine start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have booster ignition and liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia with a multitude of national and international space research experiments. Houston now controlling the flight of Columbia, the international research mission finally underway. Roger, roll, Columbia. Com Columbia now rolling on to the proper azimuth for a 39 degree inclination to orbit. Shuttle in a heads down wings level position for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. 30 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines beginning to throttle back in a three-step fashion to 72% of rated performance, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Columbia already two and a half miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, four and a half miles in altitude, the main engines beginning to rev up to full throttle, 104% of rated performance. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Rick Husband, joined on the flight deck by pilot Willie McCool, flight engineer Colt Nachavla, and mission specialist Dave Brown, mission specialist Laurel Clark, payload commander Mike Anderson, and payload specialist Elon Ramon seated down on the mid deck. One minute, 26 seconds into the flight, Columbia 10 miles downrange, 13 miles in altitude, traveling at 1,800 miles an hour. away from solid rocket booster separation everything looking good on board Columbia Solid rocket booster separation confirmed. Guidance now converging. Columbia's onboard computers commanding the main engine nozzles to gently swivel, aiming the shuttle for a precise target in space for main engine cutoff. Columbia now 43 miles down range. Three, two, one, and liftoff. Liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. All the communications between the shuttle and mission control indicated everything was going fine. There was a sense of relief that the much delayed flight was finally underway. Engines at 65%, three engines uh, running normally, three good fuel cells, three good APUs. Engines throttling up, three engines now at 104%. Challenger, go at throttle up. Challenger, go at throttle up. It happened just over one minute into flight. City 2,900 feet per second, altitude 9 nautical miles, downrange distance 7 nautical miles. From mission control, silence. 